What's up, everyone? Welcome back to Bleach Brave Souls, and we have the gameplay previews for the new Aizen, Kenpachi, and Ichigo. It's out on Twitter right now if you want to look at it for yourselves, or you can just watch this video, and we'll look at it together. So let's get right into it. We'll start with Kenpachi, and I've already looked at this gameplay, so uh, for full disclosure, I have already seen it. Here we go, guys. Kenpachi. And I love it because they took the scene right from the anime, guys. All right, here we go. This is going to be Strong Attack 3 right here. Strong Attack 3 again. Strong Attack 2 in front of them. Strong Attack 2 again. And then there's Strong Attack 1. Strong Attack 1. And here is the Nad String. And here is the Nad String once more. So um, we're going to have to watch it again, guys, because... Um, I'm going to break down a little bit further. They show two special, uh, two shots of each strong attack and the mad string, but there's one shot before he does his special and one shot after he does his special because, uh, the attacks change when he does his special, if you get my drift. So after he does his special move, the one you're looking at right now, th the attacks, they improve, they get boosted. So that's what they tried to show in the gameplay preview. And I'll try to stop it. Like, and explain it as we look at the footage. All right, so here's Strong Attack 3. This one is before he does his special. So this is the unboosted Strong Attack 3. There you go. And now, without the boost, right here. This is going to be tough, guys. All right, so let me, let me, let me start that over because uh, I don't feel you got a good look. All right. So before the boost, after the boost. Before the boost... After the boost. And before the boost. After the boost. So, I mean, I, I can't really tell too much of a difference. Uh, the Nad string, it looks like it has a little bit more range, but I, I don't think it does, guys. Um, maybe we'll look at the actual um, data mind info after I look at the gameplay with you guys to see, the, see what's actually happening. But I think all that happens is... He looks a little bit different, he takes off the eye patch, and he does a little bit more damage. I'm not sure if there's a range increase. And uh, when we look at Aizen, keep that in mind. They're going to show two versions of all the strong attacks and the normal attack damage. Pre-boost and uh, after the boost. God, this is getting complicated, guys. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. All right, let's look at Aizen. Here we go. Aizen is the one I want the most. Oh, no sound. Oh, my God. I, I forgot the sound. Man, straight from the anime. It brings me back. It makes me want to watch the anime again. I'm not going to lie. All right, Strong Attack 3, there it is. Strong Attack 3 again without the glasses. Strong Attack 2. Strong Attack 2 without the glasses. Strong Attack 1. Strong Attack 1 without the glasses. All right, so they do look a little bit bigger. The, the normal attack string does look a little bigger. Uh, I can't tell. Is it just a different color or is it actually big? We'll have to look that up, guys. Let's watch it one more time. Oh, man. Man. I gotta watch the Soul Society arc again. I'm telling you. Alright, here we go. With the glasses, that's Strong Attack 3. Without the glasses, it turns purple. I don't know if that's what that means. Strong Attack 2. And then Strong Attack 2. And then Strong Attack 1. And then Strong Attack 1 buffed. Nad String, plain. Nad String, buffed. All right, so you see there's slight graphical variations in the uh, animations of the character. All right, let's move on, guys. We'll, we'll look at um, the final character, Ichigo, who I'm pretty sure will be the most popular unit in this banner. Here we go. I, man, I love all three specials. I mean, that is a classic Ichigo pose, man, right there. If you're a Bleach fan, you know that pose. Strong Attack 3, there we go. Strong Attack 3 after he goes Bankai. Shikai. Uh, Bankai. Shikai. And Bankai. There's the Shikai normal attack string. And the Bankai normal attack string. The normal attack string, I I'm not going to lie, guys. It doesn't look that good for this Ichigo. Um, it kind of looks like the ultimate all-arounder from back in the day. But let's watch it one more time. Love the special. The special is 10 out of 10. 10 out of 10 for this special. And if you're, you know, if you're a bleach purist like me, man, like, you'll appreciate that special. 
All right. And the cool thing is we get like a Shikai Ichigo and a Bankai Ichigo kind of wrapped up all into one character. So that's freaking awesome, man. K-Lab has really paid, paid a lot of respect to the source material with these characters. And I think that's what I like most about them. But that Nad string is horrible. Hold on, we have to see that Nad string again. Is it horrible? Yeah, it's it's kind of horrible. But I guess it's okay because he's a strong attack unit. So I guess we can let it slide, right? All right, maybe it's not as bad. Maybe I'm not seeing it right, guys. But it, the Nad string doesn't look that great. All right, anyway, there you have it. Those are the characters. You can look at the gameplay for yourself on Twitter uh, if you want to analyze it further. I'm sure you will. I'll just go over to the official K-Lab Bleach Brave Souls uh, Twitter account. There's also a different version of the gameplay. I'm not going to show it here because it's kind of redundant and uh, it would just take up more time. But one more thing before we go, guys. If you're on the fence about whether or not to summon for these characters, um, if you take a look at the dates for the banner right here, you'll see that it goes from January 16th to January 26th. But if you wait, if you want to wait to see what the end of the month is, you can do that and the individual banners for all these characters will still be available. So if you're not sure, I mean, you might want to think about waiting until we find out what the end of the month is and then just go in on the uh, solo banners if you still decided you want those characters. I uh, hope I explained that right. Basically, these characters will still be out by the time we know what the end of the month is. So, I mean, that's a great thing, guys. Like. You know, you don't have to decide right away. You know, if you're not sure if you st or if you still need orbs, you still need time to farm orbs. You have plenty of time to do that. Look how long these banners are out for, guys. These um, individuals, uh, they're out for a week each, I believe. And uh, they overlap with the end of the month. So, um, you know, take your time deciding if you're not sure. And they're also going to be in a step-up format. So you're going to get discounted multis. You're going to get a 150 orb multi and a 200 orb multi. And if you go up to step five on any of these banners, individual or um, the entire banner, uh, you get a guaranteed five star. So there are more fillers, though, so keep that in mind. All right, I think that's all I got to say about them, guys. I do like the characters. I like them a lot because they're super faithful to the source material, to the anime and the manga. And that's my favorite part about these characters. Also, I like the Ichigo because you get Shikai Ichigo and Bankai Ichigo rolled into one, which is great. I hope they do that with more characters. Uh, also with Kenpachi, same deal. You got him pre-eye patch and post-eye patch, but there doesn't look to be a huge difference in his uh, you know, appearance or anything like that. Aizen is the same way. I mean, he looks different with the glasses off, obviously. His hair is a little different. He looks a little more uh, GQ. But uh, other than that, his attacks also have a little bit of different effects as well. And uh, But visually, for Aizen and Kenpachi, there's not that much of a huge change in the character model. Uh, all right, guys. Let me know what you think about this style of character, you know, where they change forms. I think it's cool, and I hope they do it with other characters as well. So I guess that's all I got to say about it. If I missed anything, guys, uh, let me know in the comments. I'm sure I did because uh, it's kind of only my second time looking at the footage. So I'll keep that in mind, and give me a break if I miss stuff, guys. It's not the end of the world. Uh, anyway, that's all I got for this video. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.